people are getting playful with Jewish food. You know, I have a, a friend in Boston, he loves to like mash up Korean flavors in a matzo ball soup, you know what I mean? So there, sure. there's people getting playful with it too. Like that's such a fun way to kind of move it forward and, and test the boundaries of like what Jewish food is. I'm walking down Saint Laurent or Saint Lawrence in beautiful downtown Montreal. I'm heading to a place inside a museum, the Museum of Jewish Montreal. The Jewish people have a long history in Montreal and their food is deeply embedded in the history of the cuisine of the city. What Fletcher's is doing is really interesting. They're doing a modern take on traditional Jewish flavors and dishes. I'm excited to try it out, so let's go. I go to Miguel, study art history. Mm -hmm. I live in the neighborhood. All my friends live in the neighborhood. So this is definitely a place a lot of my friends come to hang out, spend a lot of time just uh, sitting around and talking here. I think people are really confused by it at first because it kind of looks like a boutique or a cafe, mm -hmm. and it kind of is like a real hybrid of things. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's definitely a unique, and there's like, a lot of events here, and it's doing a lot of stuff. I mean, I'm not Jewish, are, mm -hmm. are you? No, I'm not Jewish, but a lot of it is really like nostalgic for me even, because my family's Ukrainian, mm -hmm. and that's like, obviously Ashkenazi Jewish food's huge, and so things like borscht, I had that in the winter. Sure. That's a huge thing for me, pickles, anything pickled. One of the things that I, I love is we've taken gefilte fish, which mm -hmm. is a super traditional Eastern European okay. food. Gefilte fish, yuck. Right? Am I right, kids? Yeah. Boo, boo. Thank you. Yeah. But, but no, but, but it's wait. actually so great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when Jews come in here, they're like gefilte fish tacos and gefilte fish club sandwich. And they're kind of like, they don't know what to do with it. Sure. And then I'm like, no, no, wait, just let me make it for just you. Just try it. Try it out. And then they're like, this is so good. And there then they go. keep coming back. Okay. I actually really like that one. Nice minced fish, halibut and tilapia. It's got characteristics of, of course, a fish taco which is a common thing in Mexican cuisine, but then it's also got that nice component of a deli whitefish salad, which you would pick up at a traditional kosher style Jewish delicatessen. I think combined together, it works very well. You've got a nice pickled veg here, some nice tender semi-fatty whitefish, and then you've got sort of a creamy uh, harissa mayo, which imparts just a hint of peppery spice. The fish flavor is really what comes through within the whitefish. I really like that one. So this is gonna be the Zatar Spice Sandwich. Z-A apostrophe A-T-A-R. It's a spice mixture that is composed of, among other things, thyme, oregano, marjoram, sesame seed. It's gonna be a real nice, nutty, earthy spice flavor used throughout the Middle East. This is going to impart a real grounded herbal flavor. It's a nice complement to the egg and the tomato in the sandwich. Potato pancakes or latkes, closely associated with the Jewish holiday of Hanukkah. The key to getting a good latke, get all that moisture out of there, because you're gonna fry those suckers, and that's what's really gonna give you a nice fry, a nice crunch. And they're commonly eaten with sour cream or applesauce. In this case, we have yogurt, which is gonna be a nice, sour, cold dairy. This is sort of the ultimate version of like a sour cream and onion potato chip. Nice crunchy laka. Dessert time. Ice cream sandwich. Masa fun. It's essentially an almond cookie. And then we have ice cream in the middle. That was a bad idea. Mm-hmm. No. Maybe that was a terrible idea. Just to bite right into that. I love the flavor of cardamom and rose water. I get a lot of that within this chewy, almost marzipan-like masafan cookie. So again, with this dessert creation, 
similarly to the breakfast sandwich, with the za'atar similarly to the gefilte fish. Turning that into a taco, they are taking the traditional Iraqi masafan and turning that into like a delicious ice cream sandwich. Mixture of new and traditional. It's such a simple concept, but I think when it's done well, it almost always works. Part of the idea of cuisine is that there are traditions within our food, but that our food ways also evolve. We have our traditions, we revere our traditions, but that also there is room for our cuisines to grow, to try new things, to try new flavors, because why not? That is what makes life interesting, and that is what makes life fun, and that is how things change and evolve and grow. And I think it's done really, really nicely here. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Dining on a Dime from Fletcher's inside the Jewish Museum of Montreal in Montreal, Canada. If you'd like to watch more, please click here.